Hello folks and it's um, spring now and we're all at the marina and everything's really well and if you can hear those are people who are working on the boats even me I've rubbed down my boat now I've done the deck as I showed you in last week's episode how to do the deck that turned out pretty well and today I'm doing the hull I've rubbed it down with some sandpaper and I'm uh, literally on the edge of glory look see what I mean I'm on the bow of my boat and I'm just gently painting it, just take your time you've got to balance just like a cat when you do this job because it's so precarious I'm using that polyurethane paint I mean in grey because obviously <coughs> oh, I hate that when that happens when a midgy the walks on the paint where you can guarantee they come out so what I've done, I've gave it a light sanding all over nothing too much, so the next coat of paint can stick it's pretty warm out here today so I'm brushing it in because this polyurethane stuff is really good. They use this on garage floors. I mean, do you remember? I can't even say it then. Remember when I told you that last week? So you just literally go nice and steady. You don't really need to mask on the boat like this because you just take your time. But literally, literally you've got to balance yourself. Very precarious. You don't want anything falling in the water. You don't want your paint falling in the water or your paintbrush. Even worse, you don't want yourself falling in the water either because then you've got to climb out and then you'll probably end up climbing all over your boat so already I've done some some of it oh, let's go back up there some of it already so like I said I just do some strokes forwards and backwards left and right just to work that paint working probably takes about 48 hours to dry proper to all harden off it's got a hardener in it you see yeah, a bit scabby bit so you literally do take your time right up to the uh, edge there just work it in but not too hard because don't forget I'm on a moving boat here I know it's not moving but it's tied up and any sudden movements any sudden movements I'll be even with the fishes look at that look at that and once you painted it, it does go flatten. It flattens itself out like a. Uh, it it really does go well. I mean, look at that for a finish so far. I'd recommend this to anyone. This you can paint this on metal, wood, fiberglass, anything you want. So now I've got to slowly, gingerly. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do while I'm here. You've got to plan this ahead. You've got to think. You've got to think to yourself. Where can I put my feet? I don't want to be standing on my fresh paintwork just to get a little section that I've missed. So anything you can reach. Look at that, sweet. Anything that you can. Uh, But flakes, it's because I've been sanding it, you see, and you, some bits don't flow off. I didn't do a video of it sanding it, it's a bit boring. I just used sandpaper, I didn't use a big sander. Everyone's getting the boats ready. Because I think this year is going to be a good summer, I can feel it coming. There you go. Look at that, look at that, perfect. <clears throat> So the plan is to uh, paint my boat, get it all ready, and then I'll take it out the weekend. Might be all done. Good thing is, it's not that big, this boat, so it's uh, it's easier to get on with it. But you still have to do the pre preparation. <laughs> See, look at that, amazing. The good thing is it was grey anyway. You see, I don't have to be too fussy on this. You get a really good finish on this polyurethane paint anyway. 
Well, I don't need to be too fussy because uh, it's a patrol boat anyway, so it's not going to win any beauty contests. But it's so hard wearing. Like I say, they use this on garage floors. I mean, look at that. In and out. And then the finish. Just look at the finish. Maybe it stays shiny, I don't know. I don't think it does. Anyway, that's what it looks like so far. So guys, this is what the paint looks like now. Nice and shiny, looking really, really good. Uh, I've got to wait for it to dry. So I think I'll uh, go home. Well, that's the finish you get. Pretty good, eh? Even if I say so myself. You don't have to be an expert. You just have to sand it down lightly, not go too abrasive you don't want to make scratches and then try and cover them up with loads and loads of paint and then it runs just a light scrap uh, sanding of sandpaper brush it off the dust and then a couple of coats and look how amazing it looks so it's all ready i've got a new roll-up canopy thing that's that's our bowling i call it roll-up canopy and then i've just got the floor to finish off i think i might have put some rubber on that might alter some a bracket for the engine at the back and then we're, we're ready but then again it's looking great man looking fantastic so hope you've enjoyed this quick video it's only a quick video this one uh have a look at some of my other videos they're good as well and don't forget to subscribe thanks very much and if you want any comments just leave them below and i'll answer them the best i can thanks very much for watching folks